Hello, I'm Michael Cantor, Vice President of Financial Technology, and I'm here to talk to you about the Qualified Charitable Distribution. This part of the tax code was made permanent by the IRS at the end of 2015. What it does is that it allows a taxpayer who is age 70 and a half to take their required minimum distribution and pay it directly to a qualifying public charity. That is an organization with 501c3 status. There are some things to keep in mind, however. Number one is the money has to go directly to the charity from your IRA. You cannot take possession of the funds first and then write a check. Number two, you cannot deduct this contribution to the charity on your tax return since you are not paying taxes on it in the first place. And number three, you do not have to contribute 100% of your RMD to the qualifying charity. You can divert part of it to yourself and pay the rest to the charity or you may contribute to more than one charity should you so desire. If you would like to know more about how to incorporate a qualified charitable distribution into your tax planning, please consult a tax professional. This is Michael Cantor, Vice President, Financial Technology. Thank you.